and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm showing you guys how i created this bouncy curls that will last for three days i think curls make you look really put together i got some questions from you guys on how i create my curls so this is the tutorial if you are new here on my channel make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new video i upload a video every wednesday and saturday and i upload a lot of curly disney vlogs makeup tutorials so if you like to see that don't forget to do that and of course you can also follow me on instagram and now let's get started with this hair tutorial so this is how my hair looks when i come out of the shower i just blow dried it but i didn't make it straight or anything like that as you can see my hair is quite straight but in the back i've got some weird waves going on if you want to curl your hair you have to make sure that your hair is completely dry if your hair isn't completely dry it's so damaging for your hair so make sure before you curl it you dry your hair the first thing that you need is of course a brush to make sure there's no tangles in your hair you also need a clip and i like to use clips like these these are my favorite kind of clips because they stay really great in your hair and they don't move and of course you also need a hairspray this one i picked up here in turkey but i have to say my all-time favorite is from Swatchkov. and i will insert a picture here it's a yellow bottle if you're looking for a hairspray that makes your hair stay all day really great you need to buy that one i know with beauty pageants and in the model industry they use that hairspray as well and it's just the greatest hairspray out there so if you're looking for a really strong hairspray you definitely have to check that one out this one to be honest is not that special it's from morphos and it says it's ultra strong but i find that the other one is stronger than this but it's all right it does its job so uh, i'm gonna use this one today so the first thing that you need to do is brush your hair so there are no tangles and make sure you always start at the bottom of your hair and then work your way up if you start at the roots and you pull your hair down it's just not great and you will damage your hair a lot so make sure you start at the bottom of your hair so if your hair is all smooth and tangled out you want to start uh, parting your hair i always wear my hair like this so i just leave it like that just getting this piece here and then i'm going to put this hair up so it's out of the way and the curl iron that I'm using is from Remington. This curl iron I have maybe for over six years now. I purchased it such a long time ago and it still works really great. If you want to curl your stay for three days, you need to make sure you have a curling iron with a shape like this. If I curl my hair with a normal one, then my hair is flat after a few hours but if I curl it with this one it stays for three days and of course it will loosen up but that's also nice I think and I will link this one down below in the description box so you can check it out but really I can't recommend this one enough a lot of my friends also purchased this one and they're all really happy with it this curl iron comes also with a case like this and also with a little glove but I never use that to be honest if you put it on make sure you don't go over 180 180 is the perfect heat to make curls the curl will stay the longest time in your hair and if you put it over it will damage your hair and if you put it under uh, the curl won't last that long i would say put it on 180 and then the curl will stay the longest so if i curl my hair i always make sure i curl away from my face so this side of my hair i will curl this way and this side of my hair I will curl the other way I like a little bit more of an open look because if I curl it inside it's it doesn't look that flattering I think it looks a little bit like the beginning of the uh, early 20s so I always make sure that I curl away from my face so then I'm just starting off in the back like I said and and I just wrap it around then I hold it for a little bit, you don't have to hold it for too long. And then I let it go in my hand and then I hold the curl just for a little while so it can cool off. 
and just leave your curl like this because later it will loosen up so don't touch it now because it's still hot if you immediately go through it with your hands then it won't last that long so just let it like this let it cool off and later we will come back to that and now i will put you on a little time lapse and i will curl the rest of my hair One side is done as you can see they are really tight but just leave them like that and I'm going to curl the other side of my hair and like I said this side I'm going to curl the other way and again I'm just starting at the back so this side I'm going to curl again away from my face So now that I curled my hair, I'm going to shake it a little bit up so they become more loose. So what I'm always doing, I'm going to bend over. So I'm just shaking it up a little bit. And then I'm going to use my hairspray. As you can see, they are still a little bit stiff. But I am just uh, leaving it like this because with time they will loosen up uh, anyway. And as you can see you've got these really gorgeous and princess kind of curls. And I just really love it. I think curls make your look really put together. And uh, yes it looks really nice I think. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Tag me on Instagram if you recreate this look. And of course if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. And of course you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys soon in one of my other videos. Bye!